Boogie drop that beat. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Talk It Out Loud with Miss Talkative. Everything I say is my own opinion, alleged, and strictly entertainment purposes. Remember, I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video, let me know what you think. Now, I seen on TV Deets that the uh, premiere episode of Love and Mary Huntsville, the ratings are down. They only received 288,000 views and i say only because from what i'm showing is that it's down from last year's 495,000 views and my question is um is carlos to blame i'm going to is is on the blame is the um is the cast to blame? I'm going to say yes to all three. And let me explain my opinion. Well, I believe that the cast is to blame because the Scots and majority of the, the cast, they were so busy trying to come for Mel last season, making Mel her storyline. And we didn't get a chance to see anything going on with them. It was just, you know, everybody tag team and male, male this, male that. They trying to be so, um, they were so in, heavily invested in, you know, trying to stick it to male, trying to make sure that they knew, you know, that they was trying to spread the gospel of Martel having a new woman and uh, putting it in male face till. We got no storyline from either one of them. Destiny with her fake beef with Mel. Then you had Letitia. She um talking about um Mel in every scene that she was in, even in the bed with her husband and Marcel talking about um Martel upgraded to the fact that they forgot that they're on the show and they're not watching from the sidelines like we are. These are conversations that uh, viewers would have, but they're on the show and they're the cast. Why are you not speaking about what you have going on, what you're doing, instead of trying to, um, you know, worry about Mel because you don't like her? You one minute you want to, uh, you at her vacation spot talking about, oh, I like this. I like this. This is, this is what I'm used to. This is what I'm talking about. And you all up in her business asking her, Letitia, asking her, how did she come to the, um, the point or the space that she at now? As if you really gave a damn, but then you just, you just tried to use it against her to say that she's faking and, uh, she don't like people to know what's going on with her. She's always, let you know what's going on with her so I didn't understand that and for you to um you know try to use your friend's death as a storyline for being late and you know my opinion that Marceau was getting on you because you didn't really tell him about the couple's trip so I blame the cast for not being authentic uh, for all trying to um, attack Melody and not really, well, basically not showing anything from themselves last season. And it was like it was a free fall on Melody. I blame Carlos because Carlos was in all of the other housewives business and he know that he have three shows um, Love and Marriage Huntsville, you have Bell Collective, and you have Love and Marriage DC. And while he's busy worried about Robin Dixon and um Robin and Juan Dixon over the fakery going over going on over there and doing interview after interview with all types of other people, married to medicine cast, 
he's doing, I mean, he's like on a, you know, on a press for a Bravo network, but he forgot that he's, he's on own network. And when he went and it's like, he let the, let his show lapse, forgot about his show because he's so heavily invested in Bravo. He forgot that he don't work over there anymore. And he let it, and, and he let the uh, cast just run wild. And when I say the cast, I mean the um, the mess that they had going on with Mel. And then you had um, uh, the Scott's other brother coming on the show to go after Miss Van and to the point where the viewers were like, no, 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 no. I'm not putting up with this no more. They need to fix it. And when the people when it didn't get fixed it got then people felt as though it got worse and then you let Wanda talk about the Eminem kids and um attacking Melody the viewers were like no blackout I'm not doing it anymore I'm 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 done and so then this year uh well let me let me back up you got on I blame on because Carlos works, the cast works for Carlos and Carlos could have spoke to the cast. Like he said, he had to do, um, prior and he could have been like, wait a minute, what, what is all of this? We're not going to have any bullying. Y'all are on a, y'all all are on a reality show. So either step up or step off. Like he did at the end, he waited all the way to the end to actually say that in his, um, recap with Dustin. I blame own because Carlos works for own. And instead of own stating to Carlos, wait a minute, what's going on here? Because you all over here, but you see what you see the ruckus going on in your own house. Get your own house in order. You hear the viewers, people were emailing, people were, um, uh, um, uh, sending Instagram posts. People, people were online calling out Carlos, calling out the show, calling out own. Basically, you know, it was like to the point where we thought that Melody and Miss Van was going to have a lawsuit on their hands. Be that's just how bad last season had got. So some people were probably done away with the show. Uh, when all the drama started happening, when they were tag team and melody and they're like, no, I'm, I'm gone. I'm done. Nothing else needed to see here. You, you got the, um, it, it's going to take a, a, a lot more than you to, you know, uh, just hurry up and bring it back and, and promise me something better and say, it's not going to be regurgitated for me to, um, look back over there. So you can't fool me with just one episode. And with the first episode, here we go again. We have now Stormy and her mom that are duplicating Melody. Uh, I mean, duplicating um, Destiny saying, oh, Melody isn't calling me. I like consistency in my friendships. We heard this before. Wait a minute. We heard this before. Then you have um, Betty, Stormy's mama, duplicating Wanda, attacking Melody because she doesn't like Mel because her daughter is jealous of Melody. So she's going to be the mouthpiece for her daughter and say what her daughter want to say but can't say because she know that the uh, the viewers will attack her and it's going to harm her business. So nobody want to see that. And it's duplicated. And I know y'all probably say, well, um, own and Carlos is like, well, let's get this. This drama aired out on the first couple of scenes so we can, you know, get to the root of it and, you know, leave it in the past. But at the same time, it's still out here on this uh, on this platform and playing out in the season. And I, and the things that people, the audience are asking to be captured that we see out here on social media is not being captured. Y'all capture everything that y'all want to capture, 
but what the audience are um are asking to be captured so carlos we know that you're watching we know that own is watching and like i say it's enough blame to go around and i don't know if i i hope the ratings get better but i don't know if the ratings get don't get better and with love and marriage huntsville being the number one show on own that speaks volumes because if this show tank then that means that it's going to be a domino effect for the carlos king kingdom reign entertainment because bell collective to me and i liked it when it first came out but now it seems like it's it's watered down and i i don't know what happened i guess y'all had to put some you know put some oof to it put some more drama in it and so now it it seems to me in my opinion that it's watered down then you have love and marriage um dc where the um cast is you know, checking the deuces where they're saying that they're leaving. Monique and her husband have already left before. Um, as you know, as soon as y'all got started filming, my um, I'm sorry, uh, Monique and her husband, they're you know out the door like bye. And so now it's rumored that Ashley is quitting. Um, we don't know, but you know, we assume from her post that she's leaving. So if um, Love and Marriage Huntsville they can't get that together how does that um how does the other shows line up because nobody is really watching love and marriage dc um i i actually like arena and her husband i think they're a fabulous couple dress wise everything but um the other cast uh ashley the mean girl her husband that you know wants to you know be all of that no I, it, it just doesn't do, just don't do it for me and now i can watch arena and um the you know the tylers all day long but still it still does not it, it's it's not love and mary tunsville and people are used to Love and Mary Tunsville being, you know, the number one show. But the drama last season got to be just, it, it just got to be too much. So, and a lot of viewers, they're still saying, nope, I'm still on Blackout. Not, I mean, one episode is not going to make me watch. And the fact that, you know, they, I believe they just went off in, you know, December or something like that. I'm not for sure. Um, but they just went off and they're right back in April. And my question is, did they come back? And, and trust me, I wanted them to come back. I was, you know, I was all for them coming back. I, you know, I wanted to see more. I wanted to see what, you know, male, I was interested to see what Mel had going on. And hopefully th that things made a turn, made a turn for the better. Um, so Please don't misunderstand. I like the show for Melody. I do. But it's like um, Carlos and, o and, and the own network were trying to prove a point to us by bringing the show back on so soon, trying to let us know before the, the viewers actually walked all together and said, you know, let me just put this show behind me. Let me put it to rest because I don't want to be bothered with it. So they they had to um, hurry up, start filming, bring it back, and try to put a different perspective in everybody's mind, so people wouldn't like say I'm done. You know, uh, last season just didn't do it for me. It was too over the top, um, and I just feel as though it's enough blame to go around. And that's just my opinion. I'm just talking out loud. Please like, share, subscribe, comment on the video. Let me know what you think.